Yo, so this is basically the introduction to my channel, first video. I don't know how much I'm going to upload or anything, but I've been following a lot of like fashion YouTubers and uh, sneaker YouTubers, I guess. But I kind of just wanted to show off my thoughts on different collections, sneakers, that type of thing. Uh, and mainly this is just a thing for me personally. It's kind of like Instagram just to see where I go style-wise in the future. I can just click on a video and look back on it. Uh, for this first video, I'm just going to show off my current sneaker rotation. I thought that would be a pretty good idea. Just click back on this video a couple months and see how much that changes because I definitely started as a sneakerhead. That's like been my thing for a few years now, I guess. Three, three, four years. Uh, nah, plus, plus for sure because in middle school actually. So first pair and we'll start with like, we'll start with my hype beast type thing um, is this pair of Yeezy Zebras. They're a bit pushed down right now. I don't wear them too often and I have some clothes stacked on top of them. But uh, I wore them a lot throughout like traveling Europe. They're super comfortable shoe. I'm a huge Ye fan. If you if you know me IRL, you probably know that about me. Uh, so yeah, these definitely one of my favorite shoes of all time. Um, it's I feel like this exact colorway doesn't really match my personal personality, and that's the biggest reason why I don't wear them too much. They're just a little bit too loud for what I like. But uh, they are a really cool shoe, and my, mainly for me at least, it's a cool silhouette. That's why I like it so much. So uh, I'd love to cop some of the older ones. I think uh, the Breads, for example, those those are way more wearable. Uh, so yeah, those are the Yeezys I have, uh, only pair currently. My favorite shoes right now is this pair of Chelsea boots. I haven't been wearing them too much, but hopefully I'll get some wear this spring. Uh, but it's basically an ASOS or ASOS pair. Um, I think this is their own brand, if I'm correct. Actually, it no, looks like it's Walk London, size 11. Chelsea boots are the weirdest sizes. It sucks for finding sizes in Chelsea boots, but uh, usually I'm like, usually true to size for me is a 12. And then I can go anywhere from like a 12 and a half to 11, apparently, or 11 and a half. So shoes, everyone knows. You just gotta find the right size for each brand. But uh, yeah, really love this pair. Really nice suede on them. Um, I would say for Ch Chelsea boots, these aren't really that comfortable. It's more about the look of them. Uh, the one thing I do have is this is just, I don't know what type of like material this is, but it's very, clunky so walking on these definitely feels like you're walking in heels which i'm not a big fan of uh probably not where I, why i wear them too much but yeah you know something to get used to so this is my most recent pair I realize i'm looking over here when the camera's right there but this is my most recent pair uh got these for like 60 dollars on depop actually and i know they go for like 240 um used on goat and uh, I think around the same, maybe like 400-ish on StockX if they're dead stock. Uh, but yeah, these are just Jordan 4 Miss Blues. Um, they came out in 2006, I believe. Really, really cool pair. I've been really wanting Jordan 4s just because it's one of my favorite Jordan silhouettes. I'd say this, the Jordan 11, and then the 1, of course, is probably my all-time favorite, as with like everyone else, too. Um, but yeah, this Jordan 4 looks really clean uh it's cracked and everything i can try and show that um obviously whoever last had this shoe definitely got wear out of it as you can see on the outsole right there um but still in a good condition i like the creasing on the toe box uh great shoe it's comfortable worn in uh just a cool piece to have topic of jordans this is probably my most worn shoe besides another one that i'll show you next but uh, this is just the Air Jordan 1 Game Royal. Uh, I wish they were just Royals, that would be pretty nice. But these are like the cheap alternative uh, to that. Just, you know, pretty decent quality leather for, for a cheap Air Jordan. Uh, I think it's probably about the same quality leather uh, for all Jordans up until you get down to like the 94 and the 85, of course. But uh, yeah, really nice. I think maybe the 2015s might have some pretty good leather too. Um, but yeah, this is just a really sleek pair of Jordans that I really like. I had the Yin Yang version before, uh, and then those got chewed up or thrashed. 
and decided to get these instead. And the color pop is pretty nice because I generally wear like all black. And so uh, nice contrast to what I usually wear, which is always a nice thing. But yeah, I beat these up for sure. This right here is my most worn and favorite shoe of all time. Uh, everyone's probably seen these. This is just a super common pair. Everyone has them, uh, or at least everyone knows someone who does. It's just the Nike Air Force One, all white. These things have been worn so many times throughout the past like two years. I should probably get a fresh pair, but I do like the way these look really worn like this. Um, yeah, I think I think just getting a new pair of laces, honestly, is something that I might think about. But yeah, I wear these a lot. I wear these clubbing a lot too. So they, they uh, have gone through a little bit of everything that you could possibly think of, uh, which just adds character. It's a fun shoe. Um, but I got to get a new pair of these. And then, of course, if you do pay attention to sneakers, there's the off-white pair of Nike Air Forces, which is like one of my grails. So I'd love to get that eventually. And then uh, similar silhouettes, Margiela has a Air Force inspired silhouette, which looks really nice that I've been looking at. And uh, Babes does look really good, of course. Uh, that's Babes does are hard to get, like, well, one, hard to get because they're old. I don't think they make them anymore and they're expensive, but uh, they're also really colorful. So you have to work around that, which is something that's fun, I guess. But um, yeah, the Nike Air Force One. Another Nike shoe. This is the uh, the Nike Blazer. This is the New York versus LA pair. Uh, I think they rebranded this. This was the New York versus LA. They might have rebranded it to the Sheck West pair. Um, they, I remember they announced these. They had a release date. And then when I went to go get them, the release date was canceled like that day or the night before. And they did the whole rebranding for Sheck West. And nothing changed about them. I think they just advertised them under Sheck West because of the whole Mobamba uh, blowing up and everything. Um, I figure that's what they did. So really, really nice pair. It's a good alternative to the um, off-white blazer if you like that all black look. Um, not the tan, but the all black one. Good alternative. It's just clean. Uh, the reason I say it's a good alternative is because it has the all black outsole right here and not a lot of blazers that I've seen have the all black outsole, so it does blend really well, uh, as well as the big swoosh. Um, yeah, clean pair. It's just a subtle flex, flex pair. I ended up wearing these to work on my first day, and I've worn them to work every day after that. And uh, they're, the only problem is they're uh, not non-slip, so I try not to break my face every day, pretty much is what it comes to. But yeah, good pair. Um, I should probably wear them outside of work more just because they are really nice. Uh, but, oh well. The last pair of sneakers in my rotation currently is this pair of Ultra Boost. Just all white Ultra Boost. Uh, I think this was around 2017 release, maybe. Uh, I got them. I know I got them originally. It's hard to see, but just because of the pattern, uh, they brought back on the toe box from the original uh, Ultra Boost. It's not as like highlighted in here, but it is pretty cool. I really like that pattern. And then um, I, I got it and wore it around a bit when it first came out, but I wasn't, I, I basically just haven't been a huge fan of the silhouette of the Adidas shoes in a long time. They have been my gym shoes and that's pretty much all I use them for. Like, I don't know. Uh, and that's pretty it for my pretty much it for my rotation. I do have a few other sneakers, uh, but for the most part, I just either don't wear them currently or I'm waiting to like transition into a style where I could wear them more. Uh, but it, it's interesting to look back and see. I have a couple pair of Adidas. Besides, I think the only pair of Adidas I showed were the Yeezys and the Ultra Boost, and both of them I don't wear often out. Besides the gym, and then certain times where I just want to wear the easy but that's not common because I don't like to flex like I'm, I'm not a person who wants to flex ever so uh yeah besides when I just did that to show off this like yeah it's just not something I really want to do so like on campus for example walking around I don't want to wear easy I don't really want to draw attention to one thing on me 
So it is what it is, but thank you guys for watching. This has been an introduction, uh, future videos. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna upload. I just wanted to give this a shot. So this is my sneaker collection. I think for another video I want to do in the future is talk about like my grails and then uh, my current style and what style I kind of want to transition to because I'm kind of in that period of wanting to go somewhere else with where I'm at uh, style-wise. So uh, yeah, thank you guys and peace.